These are beautiful red autumn leaves. This is a cutting that I took from a plum, some sort of ornamental plum. It's a cutting I took and it, uh, it rooted successfully. I've got lots of them actually, all grown in pots, all with that same beautiful red colour. They look gorgeous when the sun's shining through the leaves. Gorgeous colour. There's some sun now. So shining through the leaves. They're lit up by the sunlight. So bright, so gorgeous, so lovely. On this autumn afternoon. Gorgeous. Where shall I plant it? I have to find a good place for it. So that's something special about autumn, isn't it? When the sunlight shines through the leaves, like in a stained glass church or something. Stained glass or autumn leaves. They get illuminated, don't they? This is a Japanese quince, a japonica. Japonicas always put on some nice yellow leaves. They do. Not spectacular, but spectacular enough for a small shrub. Another view of that japonica. It is some nice yellow there. Lights up the place. More sunlight through the ornamental plum leaves. Listen to those bees humming away in the carob tree. Bees are humming in the carob tree, in the carob blossom. thumper in the warm autumn sunlight on this warm autumn afternoon. It'll be getting too hot soon, surely. I'm warm. Why don't you get overheated with all that fur? so bright I can hardly see him in the viewfinder. Perhaps shaking his ears cools him down. It's autumn everybody. Thumper on an autumn afternoon. Where are you, Thumper? I can't see you. Oh, there you are. You're going to get too hot, surely. I could try leaving a carrot in that place one day, couldn't I? Just see what happens, but I don't want to start a whole new feeding thing. I've got that dreadful goat all the time asking me for food. <laughs> I've got that dreadful goat always wanting things. That's beautiful thumper anyway. 
Aren't you lovely? In the autumn, let's look at the autumn. Let's look at the autumn. Where's the autumn? Gorgeous autumn. Let's look at the autumn leaves. Way over to Billio. That's Pistasia chinensis. Chinese pistace, pistache, pistace. Lovely. They're all just changing colour now after these cold nights. That's a honey locust tree changing colour, turning a beautiful golden colour. It's got honey locust beans on it. And it's turning golden. Of course, the display is more spectacular when the sun shines. There are apricot blossoms. I mean leaves, rather. Apricot leaves. Turning yellow, golden. Enchanting. The leaf just fell. Autumn, a happy time. The blackbird is a bird of gardens, shrubberies and woodlands and is very common. It likes nesting in evergreens and hedgerows, but will also find, it, find nests in banks and holes in walls or in outhouses. The nest is like that of the song thrush, but has no plaster lining. The eggs are dark green mottled with brown and four or five is the usual number. The cock blackbird feeds the hen on the nest and helps with the rearing of the family. Blackbirds eat insects and berries. Lots of people think that the cock and hen blackbirds are two distinct species. They do look a bit distinct, don't they? The fact is the cock is black and the hen is brown. That looks like a hawthorn they're nesting in. Or is it a gooseberry? I'm not sure. I think it might be a hawthorn tree. Look, here's a pretty robin. Isn't the robin beautiful? 